Hey, good afternoon. You know, the thing that came up in the practice they wanted to visit with all of you about is, you know, I've talked a lot about getting your estate planning documents in order and and that's great. And, and there's been some people who've been very responsive to that. You know, whether you get I don't care if you who you get to do it. Just get it done. Don't use Rocket Lawyer, and uh, you know I've I've commented on that, and you know Legal Zoom and this that and the other. And I don't begrudge any of those companies or their products or their their success. But I I have I have been on the receiving end of documents created by those companies, and I will say that you probably could do for just about the same amount of money hire a brick and mortar law firm and get a better product. But that's my take on it. The the thing about it though is that it's better than nothing. And you know, I wanted to talk very briefly about what a will entitles you as a executor or an heir to do. And most people I think have this misconception that a will entitles somebody named as executor to just go ahead and do a distribution. Well it doesn't. Uh, that distribution's got to be done with court authority, and it's a pretty simple process, but you've got to take the will, you've got to deposit it in the court, in the county in which the decedent passed away in, their residential, their, their county of residence, uh, you, and then you make an application to the judge to make you the administrator or executor and to issue you letters of independent administration or letter of independent executor or executrix. And what that allows you to then do is to inventory all of the assets and monies in the estate, to open a bank account in the name of the estate, to get a tax ID number in the name of the estate, and then report to the court what you found and go ahead then and make a distribution. So it's not just as simple as there's a will and it names me executor or administrator, so I'm just going to go ahead and divide up the assets. That if that happens, and I know it has happened because I've had cases like that, those kinds of distributions are done without court authority and lawsuits can be predicated on that. So be careful with a will. Get legal counsel and follow the appropriate steps to do things with court authority. Independent executors and administrators have broad and expansive authority, but they do have to show the court that that they were so named to be the independent and then get a letter that says they are the independent so they can uh, get access to bank accounts and and take the appropriate steps to inventory and then distribute those assets in accordance with the wishes of the will anyway y'all have a wonderful day have a great week